Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and I've got my Raze 3D N2 Plus 3D printer all configured. I got the kinks worked out. I figured out what I was doing wrong, and I wanted to print something big. And when I printed it big, I wanted to film it with a time lapse. And so I set the GoPro up and I filmed a giant rocket being printed. And I posted some pictures over on Twitter. And if you follow me on Twitter, you probably saw those. And so I'm gonna show you how I printed it with their software. I'm gonna show you the time lapse, and then we're gonna take a look at that big rocket. So uh, let's do this. You ready? Go. <laughs> Ah, welcome back. So like I said, I got some of the kinks worked out on the Raze 3D N2 Plus 3D printer. Uh, originally, I thought the bed was out of level, but the, wet, the bed was not out of level. The bed was level. There were some screws that came loose during shipping, and I, I followed the instructions sent to me by Raze 3D, and I was able to tighten those up, and everything was going fine. So then I started thinking about, well, I want to print something big, and so I was printing this this model, the Bob Om model that uh, Garrett over at Chaos Core Create created. I love that model. And and it turned out, oh, look at that. It turned out great. Oh, except for this one. Okay. <laughs> uh, here's what happened. The default profile on the IdeaMaker software that you, that you use to print to the Raise 3D printers has the bed set at 40 degrees Celsius because they anticipate printing with a raft. And uh, the printer's currently in my drafty garage uh, and the little piece the little, uh, that, that adheres right here, it, it fell over. But the rest of the model printed really well and, and I'm impressed with this quality. Uh, for just printing, just hitting print and go, I think, I think the settings were were decent. I, I printed at a 0.3 millimeter layer height. Um, I I don't know. I love this model. I love this model. I'm going to be printing a whole lot more of these. That's for sure. And and technically, I just carry them like this now. All right, we've got it working now. We need to have the bed a little bit higher, so I'm going to set it at about 60 to 65 degrees. I'm. I've got the, the layering done right. I'm gonna keep it at a 0.3. I've got the software working well. I've got the printer working well. So let's print a giant rocket. And in order to do that, we have to bring the model into the Raze 3D software. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, here we are. We're in the Idea Maker software from Raze 3D. I'm gonna hit add. I'm gonna go rocket for mega scaling because mega. Uh, let's see, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Here's the rocket. It's on its side. We're going to have to upright that rocket. So, oh, first, look at this. It tells us that there's error orientation faces of 14. Well, luckily, what you can see is I can go up here to auto repair, and that's up in the repair menu. I go, okay, and there we go. It seems to have fixed it. So now I need to rotate, and I know I'm going to roll it 90 degrees. There we go. There's our rocket. That's not too shabby. Awesome. Well, let's see. We need to make it bigger, that's for sure. So I'm gonna click it. And I'm gonna hit max fit. Oh, there it is. That is just fantastic. That's perfect. Okay, there's the rocket. It's gonna be huge. Oh, you know what? I wanna print it yellow. So let's go here to my right extruder because that's where my yellow filament is loaded. There's the rocket, it's huge. I wanna print that. Now I'm gonna hit start slicing. And it's gonna take me to this where it shows me some of the options that I have. I've already created this template called fast and hollow. Let me show you. It has zero fill density. It says two shells, but under advanced, spiral vase mode. And that means it's just gonna be a single perimeter all the way around. Layer height is going to be 0.28. Now let's make it 0.3, just because I like 0.3. Print speed of 60 millimeters per second. Uh, no infill, obviously. Uh, you can change the support material and the wrap material to come from the other extruder, but we don't need that. So I'm not too worried about it. Cooling, I'm just gonna leave as is. I'm going to enable retraction. I am not going to have a wipe wall because it's not a dual extruding print. So I hit OK. Save and close. Why not? 
All right, now let's slice it. Slicing is pretty quick. Hey, look at that. Rocket for scaling. Awesome. Let's preview. Ooh, there it is. It is ginormous. Okay. Oh, look. There's a hole at the top. <laughs> that must be... I guess that's the model? I don't know. Go figure. Uh, all right. Well, my rocket will have a hole at the top. Let's reduce the layers. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It just builds up just like that. Just like that. Awesome. That's perfect. Time, four hours and six minutes. Sounds good to me. Now, I can upload it to the machine. So I've already gone through this, and that <laughs> this is cool, because you can do Wi-Fi printing. So if I hit this button, it's going to connect me to the printer. And here it shows the stats, and this is essentially the screen that I see on the printer, but in a portrait orientation. There's a tune I can set things, and utilities that allow me to do things. And then over here is print, and I can choose from USB storage, an SD card, or local storage. I'm gonna choose local storage, and there's the rocket for mega scaling. See, I've already done this. Oh, you know what? I did set it to 0.28 millimeters. What do you know? 0 0.3, 0 0.28, it's super similar. Well, there we go, okay. Now what I can do is I can hit print, but you know what? I've already printed this, and so I'm going to show you the time lapse. So are you ready? Time. right I, I did have to tilt the GoPro 90 degrees because uh, the printer's so dang big and it was interesting you could see the whole thing build and here it is oh I gotta stand back look at, look at, look at there right there look at that rocket <laughs> that is huge there, there's a rocket on my head so this rocket this rocket right right here this this is amazing I love this I love this so much I love this. One thing I did notice at the top of the model is there was some some strangeness going on with the layering and I suspect it might have something to do with cooling. Uh, again, I just hit print on the software after selecting base mode. Uh, I will I will investigate. I'll talk to the Rays 3D. I'll see what's going on. Uh, but other than that, this rocket turned out awesome. Uh, I love this model. This is so cool. You know, all I've tried to do is print big things on this Rays 3D, so I had to print something smaller and woo-ha! Robber Rex. This is one of my favorite models as well. I wanted to see what surface quality would be like, and uh, let's see if we can get that in the camera. Surface quality is decent. I really, uh, I really like how the, the Rays printer is able to produce a very smooth top. Uh, let's see, there, there's uh, the infill, or the filling in of the layer, it kind of looks interesting I don't know I'll have to I'll have to look at that more but uh, here's here's proper Rex rawr, rawr. that's good that's good this printed really well layering was good there was a little bit of lifting off the build plate right here so I don't know I'll have to figure that out but other than that this is a good model this is a good Robert Rex no all right, that's it. Look at that. I showed you how to load a model into the Rays 3D software. I shot a time lapse showing you how the Rays 3D printer prints the model. I showed you the model. I showed you some close-up shots of the model spinning around on my ArcSpin spinner. And then, of course, I showed you Robert Rex because Robert Rex is awesome. Well, thanks for watching, you guys. Give it a thumbs up if you thought this was interesting. Leave a comment down below and tell me what I should print next on this printer. Thanks to all my patrons who support me at patreon.com. Without their support, videos like this wouldn't be possible. Hey, don't forget, hug more often. I love you guys. As always, high five.